They better come. I got all this paella. I will not tolerate infestation. All right, Frank, that's enough. What did we ever do to them? I want to know what we did. I can't believe you're moving out. Kramer, is this true? Is it really happening? It's it's like a dream. Oh, it's true. Blow out the candles! I said blow out the damn candles! Stop it, Frank! You're killing us! So what made you change your mind? It was that Chinese woman. Must be Estelle. <laughs> yes. Who are you? I'm Donna Chang. You're not Chinese. <laughs> You're not Chinese? No. I thought you were Chinese. From Long Island. Long Island? I thought I was getting advice from a Chinese woman. I'm sorry. Well, then that changes everything. <laughs> <laughs> She's not Chinese. I was duped. <laughs> so what? She's still taking advice. What's the difference if she's not Chinese? I'm not taking advice from some girl from Long Island. Who told you you could have sex in our bed? Where am I going to sleep? What are you talking about? I can't sleep in there. Of course you can. I can't. I can't. The NBC guy liked it. Of course he liked it. He told you he liked it. You know how to write. Since when do you know how to write? I never saw you write anything. Well, I don't know how you're going to write all those shows. And where are you going to get all the ideas? I don't need any ideas. It's a, it's a show about nothing. Nothing, please. I'll tell you the truth. The whole thing sounds pretty stupid to me. He doesn't know anything about bras. <laughs> breakups, the firings, and every Sunday with the calls. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to make love to your mother. George is getting married! What? George is getting married! Get the hell out of here. He's getting married? Yeah. To a woman? Of course a woman. What she look like? I'm sure she's plenty gorgeous. What difference does it make what she looks like? Is she pretty? Yes, she's pretty. What difference does it make? Well, I'm just curious. She's not pretty. Let me talk to her. Uh, hello? Congratulations! I just want you to know that I love your son very much. You do? Yeah. Really? Yeah. May I ask why? I don't understand you. I really don't. <laughs> you have nothing better to do at 3 o'clock in the afternoon? <laughs> I go out for a quart of milk. I come home and find my son treating his body like it was an amusement park. <laughs> Ma. Don't give me ma. It's a good thing I didn't hit the table. I could have cracked my head open. Yeah, people can hear you. Too bad you can't do that for a living. <laughs> You'd be very successful at it. You could sell out Madison Square Garden. Thousands of people could watch you. You could be a big star. Oh, that's George, your cousin Shelly is talking to you. So, how are you, Jerry? Fine, Miss Costanza. Hey, I got a terrific joke for you. Nah, not interested. <laughs> no, no, it, it's really funny. There's these two Tell guys... Tell it to the audience. Nobody eats bologna anymore. What are you talking about? Have a sandwich. No, thanks. Oh, stop it. You don't want one, Kramer? Uh, no thanks. I think you're all a little touched in the head. You're so worried about your health? You're young men. I really don't eat it. What am I going to do with all these sandwiches? Will you take them home? Give them to someone in your building? No, George, we're going out to eat tonight with your father. How do you like the Merlot? Merlot, I never heard of it. Did they just invent it? Oh, my God. Well, he'd been logging some pretty heavy hours. First one in in the morning, last one to leave at night. That kid was a human dynamo. Are you sure you're talking about George? Well, come on! All right, all right, let's not get into panic mode! Let's not make a big deal out of this thing, and we're never going to get through this night. Well, I'm meeting your in-laws. I think I should look nice. I don't like that tie. What's the matter with this tie? I've hardly worn it. It's too thin. They're wearing wide now. Go to any office building on 7th Avenue and tell me if there's anyone there wearing a thin tie like that. Go ahead. The mother seems to hit the sauce pretty hard. I didn't like that. And who doesn't serve cake after a meal? It is a big deal. You're supposed to serve cake after a meal. We're sitting there like idiots drinking coffee without 
a piece of cake. Georgie, oh. <laughs> Georgie, would you like some jello? Why'd you put the bananas in there? George likes the bananas! So let him have bananas on the side! But Georgie, what about the jello? I'll take it in my room. You know, I was thinking today. I never liked those Seinfelds anyway. He's an idiot altogether. What do you mean, you felt our material? What, with your fingers like this? So what? What's so bad about that? Who goes around feeling people's material? What can be gained by feeling the person's material? It's insanity. Whatever happened to my... That's a lovely dress you have on. May I have this dance? <laughs>